AgriSearch's Rurakura campus on the outskirts of Hamilton has long been a centre of dairy research in New Zealand. But by 2009, the only remaining farms at Rurakura were closing and the cows were being moved to a new 800 cow dairy farm at Te Awamutu. The farm, called Takanui, was established not only as a commercial farm, but also to research high intensity dairying, high forage systems and differentiated milks. The concept of shifting here was it gave us something that we didn't have at Ruakura, which was the opportunity to put some scale in with our dairy operations so that uh, the scale itself could be a significant involvement with research in the future and that anything we were doing then would have impact with the farming community and our science clients. We'd have some credibility in the fact that it was similar to many other dairy operations underlying so people could see that work had some way of being applicable to more current dairy situations in New Zealand at the moment. The concept with the pastures was to try and establish where we thought we should be with varieties and species of pastures and mixes of pastures leading into if we had an opportunity to start with a clean slate, which we did. Alongside this whole work, we did a baseline science or a baseline survey of gathering up all the information we could on the property, including land use capabilities, soils, soil profiles, uh, fertilizer histories, and also um, nutrient status and, uh, of the whole property. So they all form part and parcel of the whole pasture plan as well. All our cows will be EID'd and collared so that we're collecting daily information on milk performance, rumination, and we can't actually do cell counts as such, but we can do mastitis detection, leading into heat detection and animal health status coming out of the reports. But in the end of what we're about is about science and about data, and this gives us the opportunity to collect a lot of it automatically, just on a daily basis, because it's a routine part of milking. And so, yeah, we've gone to that point. The major components of our investment money is obviously the shed and the building and the feed pad and bunkers, and also the milking platforms and the milking equipment and the automation, and then closely followed by the re-subdivision and the farm water and the repasturing. And the key component of this is actually our effluent management system, which high tech have been really helpful in getting that sorted out as well. Associated with the shed, we're looking to where we can within the budget to get energy savings, uh, heat transfer and things like this to try and make it a, as uh, an efficient a shed as we can. Um, yeah, in the base of the whole farm program, environmental sustainability is a key factor of the whole project. This will be part of the foundation for the uh, oh, shed for the offices and uh, the data coming through. Initially we wanted to try and find something a little bit closer to Hamilton. We had scientists saying don't want to have to go too far to get samples and do field work and stuff like that. So we looked around a little bit closer, perhaps within a 15k range of, of the Ruakura campus and we really couldn't find anything. Um, we were going to be looking at a fairly significant capital outlay to, to buy a farm of some sort and then it just became obvious over time that Tokanui that was a little bit further away at 35, 40 kilometres, a, a 40 minute drive, had all the things we were looking for, 330 hectares, prime dairy country land surrounded by dairy farms. We taken the approach with this farm that we needed a commercially credible dairy farm on which we could do research and science and technology development and so forth. We're probably spending 25% more on this conversion than we would otherwise do if we were just doing it purely for commercial purposes. But for that 25%, we're putting in a second rotary, so we'll have a 60 bale rotary and a 20 bale rotary under the same roof. Um, we'll, we're going to the top shelf pretty much for the EID, the electronic identification stuff, so, and the ability to draft the cows a number of ways, both coming into the shed and going out of the shed, uh, the ability to send the milk a number of different ways, and the ability to feed the animals in um, some fairly robust ways. 
we had a budget that our board signed off in May last year. It was a six million dollar budget for doing the conversion, obviously not including the land conversion and not including any cows. We're going to bring most of the cows are going to come from our existing Rurikura dairies down to here. Kurt Stellwagen heads AgriSearch's Dairy Science and Technology Group. Here we're a little bit further away from campus, which means that blood samples, milk samples, we need to process them right on the farm here and usually store them so we can take them back to the lab uh, longer uh, in the future. Uh, we need access to computers here because we're not, not uh, right next to the lab, so uh, if we need to enter data or look up data, we need some uh, more computer facilities here and basically a small laboratory where we can handle initially uh, samples and uh, pre-process them for future use. The attraction from my point of view was the opportunity to bring a number of stakeholders together and work in an environment that encompasses best practice and addresses the issues that the industry to a large degree uh, has, to, has to face um, from environmental issues, large management structures, um, conversion type properties and working through all the processes and bringing it all together. In particular the staff, the cows and the grass. And then from there uh, from my role, it's, it's dealing with the with the external people and the, from the science, the technology, and all the all the stakeholders that have got interest in um, in uh, what's required, what Tokenui can deliver to the New Zealand agricultural industry. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.